Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing super awesome today. And I wanted to film this, get it's kind of like get ready with me for a full coverage foundation look for photos. So maybe it's school photos or you have like your graduation photos or anything like that. Then I wanted to put this together because it's a very soft look that still comes off really beautifully in photos. It's a very high coverage look, so I kind of go through how to cover up certain things. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. You know the drill, and I will see you next time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a primer. I'm just going in with my Angel Veil Primer from NYX. But I'm just going to smooth that all over my face. Okay, once that primer is on, I'm going to go ahead and conceal my dark circles. Um, I don't believe that I have like extremely prominent dark circles, but when I want to look flawless for photos, I have to do something other than just foundation. So I'm going to go in with this concealer from Evelyn Iona, and I don't know the name, so it's just a yellow tinted concealer that helps hide my dark circles. So I'm going to just apply that under my eyes with my finger and then if you have any blemishes go ahead and conceal them prior to putting your foundation on I just like this method a little bit better than than putting foundation on first and then going back um, going back in with concealer which I do sometimes but like I said when I want really full coverage I want to put I want to conceal everything first and I get redness around my nose so I'm gonna add some concealer there as well just anywhere that you feel that you need extra coverage go ahead and add that concealer once that is done I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face so I'm gonna go in with the naked skin concealer and I believe this was in light warm and this is actually super super light for me so when I put it on it just looks kind of crazy but if I really want that highlight for when I am taking photos then this isn't bad a bad color plus I'm gonna put my foundation on top of it so it's gonna it's gonna melt it in a little bit better so I'm just gonna take this foundation brush from Tarte and it doesn't have a name or anything but that's what I'm gonna use to blend out the product so be sure that when you're blending out your concealer especially you're using tapping motions rather than swiping motions if you're swiping your concealer then you're just removing the coverage and you don't want to do that since you placed it where you need coverage especially um, because think about how you're layering your products right so you have your primer underneath and then you have your your products so you wouldn't want to swipe everything because that'll also move your primer So now I feel like my face is a lot more covered than normal and now I can go in with my foundation. So then I'm just putting my foundation on the back of my hand and patting it into my face now. Oh, and I used oh, no. the Naked Skin or the Urban Decay and I believe 2.0, shade 2.0. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face before I set my foundation and I'm just gonna use this palette again because I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna take Champagne Pop and I'm gonna put that on the, I'm gonna blend it on my cheekbones. So make sure anytime you pick up a powder, you dust off the excess, the excess, the excess off your brush uh, because brushes are designed to kind of put that the very lightest layer of powder on your skin. So do not forget to take off the extra, which can make it just not blend very well. And you want to start with a little bit and build your way up if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and add that on my cheekbones and I'm kind of blending it all around my cheeks. I'm not just putting it in one spot. So, and I like to bring it up towards my brow bone. And if you don't want to highlight your face, you can totally skip this part. I just in, enjoy the highlight game, so that's what I'm going to do. Once all that is in place, I'm going to go in with this powder foundation um, from NYX and Nude. And so I'm just going to dust it on my brush and dust off the excess. And I'm going to just set everywhere my entire face. I'm going to set my entire face. <laughs> 
So be sure when you're setting your foundation, you are patting the product in. Again, we don't want to swipe too much because we don't want to move the products that we put um, earlier. I'm just gonna set my eyes as well. And I'm just using this big fluffy brush from Sonia Kashuk. I just got it at Target like a few months ago. I don't think they have this collection, but I like her brushes, so. So once I have a pretty good layer of that on, um, I'm gonna load my brush up with it, dust it off, and now I'm gonna buff it all over my skin. So instead of patting it now, I'm going to buff it. Be sure to use a light hand. You are working with, if you think about what you're doing necessarily, you're, you're gonna be working powders onto your skin, right? So you don't need to like jab it in there because your skin's very delicate. Um, and so just lightly smooth everything out. I'm just blending everything, making sure I don't have excess powder in some areas and that I have my whole face set. So this may seem excessive, but like I said, it's a full coverage routine for, for photos or for anything like that where you just need that extra coverage. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, well, I did highlight already, so I'm gonna go ahead and contour, and I'm just gonna use my NYX contour kit, if I can find it, there it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use my NYX contour kit, it's just what I like to go towards, and I'm going to use the, this shade right here, as you can tell, I've hit pan on it, so I really enjoy that color. I think it's really nice for contouring. So again, take off the excess, and I'm gonna use this Morphe E8 brush to contour. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks. I do prefer to contour, especially if we're getting photos taken. You wanna add that dimension back into your face. So that's all I'm gonna be doing here. So I know it looks harsh, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out once I've placed all the contours down. So now I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush I had been using for my, um, to set my face with powder and I'm just gonna blend everything out. I'm not adding any more product to my face. I just wanna soften all the lines that I've put down. It, when in doubt, just blend, okay? Just, <laughs> just blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. I'm gonna take, I'm so predictable, I'm gonna take my bronzer from the Park Avenue Princess palette from Tarte. And so I'm just gonna darken up or bronze the areas that are higher on my face where the sun would naturally hit. Definitely on my cheekbones. Bronzing the nose, because obviously your nose gets a little bit tan if you've been out in the sun, so I like incorporating that. So I'm not, sometimes I will love blush, sometimes I will hate it, and I've just not been digging blush lately, so we'll go back into that Becca Champagne Glow palette. I'm gonna take blushed copper and I'm gonna use that as my blush but I'm gonna go in really lightly with it because um, it's really pigmented so I'm gonna use this fluffy brush dip it in there a little bit tap off the excess and then you'll see that it still has so much product so I'm gonna just put that on the apples of my cheeks okay and half this tutorial is blending because that's just life it's just how we know to live so again, I'm blending all over my face after I've applied that so that there's no harsh line. So yeah, I hope that it's pretty clear because in photos, they bring out almost like the worst in everything. And so you wanna make sure everything looks super seamless and flawless so that any picture you take, there's not a bad angle or anything like that. Okay, so that's it for the face makeup. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and this is just the way I like to do them. So I'm just gonna skip through the most part of it. Okay, this looks so crazy when I only have one done. But if you are gonna be taking photos, I highly recommend filling in your eyebrows, even if you don't do it on a regular basis, because it really makes such a big difference. And when you take photos or flash photography is involved, then those little hairs don't stand out as much as you think they would and it almost sometimes looks like you have no brows. 
So you don't have to go as dark or as intense as I'm going, but I recommend at least throwing some powder on there or lining it with a pencil or anything to add some definition. All right, so after I do my brows, I'm gonna move on to my eyes, but I'm gonna just take that same powder and that same uh, foundation powder, and I'm just gonna put that on my lids again just to prep them once more, just to make sure it has a nice basis. Nice base, nice basis. Because when you powder your lids, once you prime them and powder them, then it gives your eyeshadow something to kind of slip around on so that it's easier to blend out. So that's another little tip. Oh, I'm so just annoying with the same products, but I can't help it. I love this palette. So I'm gonna go in with the Shade and Light palette. I'm gonna go in with this reddish brown and my fluffy, actually, I'm gonna go, I lied to you. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is like a peachy, like a really light peach color, like a muted peach. And I'm just gonna take that on my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna wash that on my lids. And what that means is I'm gonna take a very light layer just to add some color to my lids. Like I said, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I just wanna add definition back to my eyes. So feel free to build this up as much as you want or as little as you want, or you can skip this step period, but I like to do it, so I'm going to. So I just finished my eyeshadow, just finished blending all that good stuff. And you can wing it out if you want to, so you can bring it past your eyebrow a little bit if that's what you like. If not, just do whatever you like. Just do what you wanna do, you know? I'm just here to, I don't know, hang out. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush, and this is a Mal, I always say Malaga. Malika Jaffrin, maybe it is Malika, oh gosh. Um, Jaffrin KP10, which is just a pencil brush. You don't need this specific one. So I'm gonna dip that into Champagne cool, champagne Pop and Pearl from the palette. And I'm gonna highlight my inner corners. Basically, the most important thing about this whole tutorial was the face makeup. Everything else is just fair game. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone as well. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelashes. So I'm gonna apply, I'm not gonna apply anything. I'm going to curl my lashes. Gosh, what am I, what am I even thinking here? So one good tip is to kind of tilt your curler a little bit and you can pull on it slightly, but don't like yank it obviously because that's not good. And then I like to open it and move down. So I did at the base, so now I'm gonna do it around halfway on my lashes. I wish I'll hold it there for a few seconds. All right, and then for the, once I'm done with this, just reach for any mascara that gives you length and is very black. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara wand kind of like an old school bristle wand if you can see that and I love how black it is so I'm gonna just apply that to my lashes you can as you can see I'm kind of putting it on the top of my lashes which kind of does make them fall but then I'm just gonna put it back on and lift them super common to get it on the lid so don't worry about it right now and then I'm also gonna apply that to the lower lashes. You can also swipe your mascara all through them and then brush them down. It's another way you can do it. Okay, great. So when, you're, when you get mascara on your lids, which happens to me all the time because I'm not perfect, you want to wait for it to kind of dry and then go back in with a spoolie, so just one of these little dudes. Uh, just take one of them and kind of brush the mascara away. Be super careful because it's your eyelid, right? You don't want to damage or pull on it too hard. So then I'm going to go in with my shadow and kind of blend over that. You can also apply your eyeshadow, or sorry, yeah, you can also apply your eyeshadow after you put mascara on, but 
sometimes it's harder to work it when you have lashes in the way. All right, I'm gonna take that pencil brush again and add definition to the lower lash lines with that same color I've been using, the reddish brown color. I'm just gonna put that down here. So the next thing you wanna do is add a lip um, any type of lip product to your lips just to give it some shine. So I'm, I'm going to go in with this Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss and Butter Cream. I think lip glosses look really beautiful in photos and they make your lips just look bigger and more plump, which is nice. Okay. I like the light, but sometimes it like blinds me. So that's super glossy and I'm probably going to mix that with this one in Cocoa Bean just to kind of darken it up a little bit. So it's just looking a little too pink for me, which I like it, but sometimes it's a little too stark. And then that is the finished look. So I hope you like it. I'll just get a close up for you guys. Super glowy, fresh, high coverage, makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed this, you guys. If you wanted to add a wing liner, you totally could. I think that would look really pretty with this look. Or just line, um, just no, you could also do no wing liner and just line where your lashes are. Or you could do a bunch of things and mix it up and just make it to where you like it. I just really like this. I just love how it looks in photos because I just think it looks makes you look like fresh and awake and I always am okay with that type of situation. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I know it was kind of long, but I did want to talk in detail about why I was doing each step and what you could and could skip. So anyway, I hope you really enjoyed and if you have any comments or anything like that, please leave them down below. And if you want to catch more videos, just subscribe and I will be uploading them and then you'll get notifications and then everything will be fine and dandy. So thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!